Dear students, I am Kannan, your math teacher. In this video, I am going to teach 10th mathematics for CBC students. The today concept is arithmetic progression. In this arithmetic progression, I am going to work out an important question. Let me start the question now. Now see the question. In an arithmetic progression of 50 terms, the sum of first 10 terms is 210 and the sum of last 15 terms is 2565 find the AP AP meaning is arithmetic progression okay right once again uh, see the question in an arithmetic progression number of terms are 50 total number of terms 50 so the next concept is sum of first 10 terms sum of first 10 terms the value is 210 this is the first idea so I am going to do the first idea now. Okay, let me start the solution. In the solution, first I am going to introduce the concept. In an arithmetic progression, let small a, the small letter a be the first term of an arithmetic progression and small letter d indicate the common difference. Okay, in this question, I am going to use both the letter a and d. The meaning of a is first term and the meaning of d is the common difference of an arithmetic progression. Okay, the another formula. The nth term of an arithmetic progression is an an equal to a plus n minus 1 into d this is the formula for nth term of an arithmetic progression next sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is we are going to take sn sn equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay so these two formula is very important for this problem solving purpose okay so now i am going to take the first line of the question question so number of term that is n here number of terms n is equal to 50 okay sum of 10 terms that is i am going to take s10 sum of 10 terms meaning is s10 s10 equal to sum of n terms in sn sum of 10 terms meaning is s10 s10 equal to 10 divided by 2 2 into a plus 10 minus 1 into d that answer is equal to 210 okay now um, 10 by 2 2a plus 9d that is equal to 210 okay now if you cancel this what happened 1 2 sir this is a 5 2 sir 10 okay then uh, next format is 2a plus 9d is equal to 210 divided by because it is a multiple 5 take into this, uh, this side it is a divided by 5 so this is 5 okay after taking to this side we can cancel this so 1 5 are 5 4 5 are 20 2 5 are 10 42 so the final uh, result is 2a plus 9d that is equal to 42 this is I am going to take it as an equation number 1 this equation is get from first line of the question paper okay first line of this question okay now I am going to take the second line of this question it's a very important line the sum of last 15 terms is 2565 the sum of last 15 terms is 2565 so sum of last 15 terms that meaning is actually the formula says uh, sum of first n terms that is a sn but here they asked sum of last 15 terms that meaning is i am going to select uh, which is the 15th position which number is the 15th position from the last term so that is the very important idea uh, i am going to use one formula for this the 15th term from the last term is 50 minus 15 plus 1 1th term ok next uh, 50 minus 15 is a 35 35 plus 1 36 so 36th term the 36th term is the 15th term from the last term so actually in the 35th term is the first term of the last 15 terms a1 comma a2 comma a3 and it's going on up to that uh, a36 
and it's going on up to a 50. So totally we have the 50 terms start from a 1 to a 50 totally 50 terms. So uh, first concept is sum of first 10 term it is not a problem directly we can take s 10 but the sum of last 15 terms we are not able to directly take s 15 uh, because number of terms 15 is not a problem but which is the first term from the 15 terms which is the first term is very important. So that is select from this formula that is 36th term is the first term. So here in this uh, formula we are going to take the first term a is a 36 that is a very important idea in the second formula that uh, first term is we are going to select uh, a as a 36 okay sum of 15 terms so s 15 s 15 equal to 15 divided by 2 2 into a a is actually a 36 a 36 plus 15 minus 1 into d this total is given here what is the total of the 15 terms 2565 2565 now I am going to simplify this so take the 15 by 2 into that side it become reciprocal now 2 into a 36 plus 15 minus 1 is a 14 D that is equal to okay that is equal to 2565 into uh, 2 divided by 15 2 divided by 15 okay I want to cancel this 15 table using the 15th table 115 are 15 here 115 are 15 remaining 10 uh, 10 here 6 106 106 is 7 times 7 times remaining 15 is a 1 so 171 if you cancel this is you will get a 171 so here I am going to use one more idea uh, before that uh, 2 into a 36 plus 14 D that is equal to 171 into 2 that is 2 1 2 are 2 2 7 are uh, 14 remaining 1 1 into 2 342 okay now I am going to apply the formula for A36 actually AN formula so from the beginning already I gave the formula for this AN so that is 2 into uh, AN formula is actually uh, A plus N minus 1 into D N is here 36 but 36 minus 1 into D so to as it as a plus n minus 1 into d n is 36 36 minus 1 into d plus 14 d that is equal to 342 342 okay now multiply with uh, sorry. before that final simplification 2 into a plus 36 minus 1 35 d plus 14 d that is equal to 342 okay now the 2 is common for both the term multiply with the 2 2 into a 2a plus 35 into 2 70 into d 70 d plus 14 d that is equal to 342 okay then 2a plus add these two term that is 70 plus 14 84 d that is equal to 342 okay so now i am going to take this is equation number 2 so i need a value for a and d already we have an equation in terms of a and d so another equation in terms of a and d is there so we can uh, solve these two equations using the elimination method in the algebra concept elimination method we can use it here so now equation 2 minus 1 so the second equation is actually 2a plus 84 d that is equal to 342 this is the second equation minus the first equation first equation is 2a plus 9d that is equal to 42 this is the first equation subtraction meaning is change the second equation symbol and add the two equations so plus it become minus plus it become minus plus it become minus now cancel these two terms here the remaining 84 minus 9 that is equal to 75d 75d that is equal to 342 minus 42 it is a 300 therefore d is equal to 300 divided by 75 
so 75 and 300 how many times now 4 times 175 75 sir then 300 4 times 75 is 300 so therefore d is equal to 4 one value over now from equation 1 from equation 1 uh, 2a plus 9 into instead of d I am going to take it as a 4 that is equal to 42 so 2a plus 9 into 4 36 equal to 42 so 2a equal to 42 minus 36 then 2a equal to 6 a is equal to 6 by 2 a is equal to 3 Therefore, we have the two values a is equal to 3, d is equal to 4. That meaning is, so we have an arithmetic progression. In this arithmetic progression, first term is 3 and the common difference is 4. So, using these two ideas, we can easily find the unknown AP. The general form of an AP is a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma and it is going on. Okay, now a is 3, 3 comma. 3 plus 4 comma 3 plus 2 into 4 and it's going on okay so 3 comma 3 plus 4 7 comma uh, 2 into 4 8 8 plus 3 11 is going on so this is the required ap so the question is completed I hope you are understand the question clearly. So comment your valuable doubts in the comment box. Like this video, share this videos to your friends. I will meet you on another video with a different concept. Thanks for watching.